What's going on, Agent Nation? Frank Bernardo with the Real Estate Coaching Club. First point of business, if you are watching us on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button, like, comment, tell us what we're doing good, tell us what we could be doing better. If you're listening to us, if you can search us up on YouTube at Real Estate Coaching Club and subscribe, that's what we're looking for right now, but we appreciate you being here regardless. So today's episode, what we're talking about is video. And I know most of you are not using video. Most of you, most realtors, real estate agents, people in the real estate industry are not doing video enough. And a lot of you that are doing it, which thank you for doing it, but you're not doing it the best possible way. So I'm going to give you an idea of a way that you can do it if you don't like to do it. And one of the reasons that most people don't like to do it is because they don't want to video themselves. They don't want to talk on video. They don't like the way they look, whatever. I get it. I totally get it. I don't like the way I look. I don't like the way I sound. And if you saw how many takes it took to do these videos that I do, you'd get it. But there are ways to do video. And I'm not talking about just like listing videos for your house and buyer videos for your house and stuff like that. Those are, those are okay, but people aren't looking for those things. And that's not what's going to attract a bulk of people to your channel. So here we go. Let me explain it this way. When people search for real estate online, what are they searching for? They're searching for homes in an area, things about an area, things about a neighborhood, things about a city. So if somebody is searching best schools in Los Angeles, if they're searching for best parks in Los Angeles, best neighborhoods in Los Angeles, or anything like that, that's the content where you should be at. So this is my pro tip that if you don't like shooting videos and you don't want to be on video, the best thing you could do is take videos of your city and the cities around your city and put information on YouTube, on your channel, on Instagram, on TikTok about the cities where you're at. Now, what do you, what do you videotape? You can videotape anything. Like I'll give you an example. Los Angeles is a, is rich in historical history and there is a ton of information on almost everything out here. So you do a video on a city and then if you're like, well, I don't want to talk. I'm not very good at talking. I don't want to do the talking. So you could actually go to Fiverr or find a VA or find someone to edit for you. Put in a voiceover of somebody else's voice. There's actually AI out there right now and there's voiceover things that you can do on certain apps where it doesn't have to be your voice. So you could talk about different restaurants in a city. You could talk about award-winning restaurants in your city. You could talk about parks. You could talk about big parks where, like in Los Angeles, there's the Bad News Bears Park. Like there's Griffith Park with a ton of historical content there. There's mountains. There's, there's just so much. You are only limited by your imagination. The key to creating these videos is actually sit down and take time and put together the information in a thoughtful manner. Don't do it quickly. Don't try to haphazardly put it together. Try to do a video a week of different things. Now, besides that, you could also do interviews to where you write down the question for the interviewee. So let's say you interview a restaurant owner, you interview the mayor, you interview um, just a business owner in, in a city that you're working in. What you do is you write down the question and you hand him the questions and, and let him talk. You don't have to talk. You can just have him answer the questions and then you can send it to a VA or somebody you find on Fiverr to edit out whatever you need. So you look at the video and you figure out what you want edited in. You could have graphics. You could have so many cool things put in there. You just have to go find the person. So it takes a little bit of work, but the Fiverr, you, like pe there's people that will do it for five bucks, depending on how long the video is. So the pro tip in the video hack is you take videos of the cities and the stuff in the cities. When I say stuff, again, restaurants, parks, buildings, mountains, like whatever. You find out history on the city and then you do videos on that with a voiceover of somebody else's voice, not your voice. You could actually pay someone on Fiverr to do the voiceover for you. 
the app will talk for you. I, the, the, I haven't done that, but I, I've heard it, I've seen it. But at the end of the day, when people are gonna use you in real estate, it's about exposure and it's about volume of content that you're pushing out there. And if you're actually not putting any contact, content out there, then how do you expect people to find you? The world has become very, very noisy. There's a lot of crazy noise going on out there and you have to be consistent and you have to put out content so people can see you. And right now, this second, I can tell you not one person comes to mind that's doing these videos that I'm telling you about right now. I'm in Los Angeles. It's one of the biggest real estate markets in the world. And there is not one person that I can tell you off the top of my head, and I know pretty much everybody that's out there, that there's not one person doing anything like this. And if you did, so there is somebody out there doing something on LA, but he has nothing to do with real estate. And all you could actually do is go and repurpose his content because all he's doing is talking about different things in Los Angeles. You could just repurpose other people's content as long as you put it in your voice, not actually copy them usually getting the idea from them. But nobody's doing this right now. Maybe in other cities, I don't know, but I know in Los Angeles, it's ripe for the picking and somebody else can do it. If somebody else was doing it, there's no big, like somebody else can do it. Like there's not just one person that sells hamburgers. There's a bunch of places that sell hamburgers. So there can be more than one person that does this. So if you're like, oh, well, so-and-so does this, it doesn't matter. You do you, you do your thing and you start videotaping start doing videos and get content out there so more people know who you are see who you are and the videos will help people know you like you and trust you so get the information out there i hope this was helpful hope everybody has a fantastic day go do some videos let me know how it goes tell me in the comments subscribe like hope you have a fantastic day i'll talk to you later